So we're in a place called Miono, which is a uh, village about 150 kilometers uh, north of Dar es Salaam, the capital here in Tanzania. Um, we got here last night. It um, took us about five hours, the journey, which uh, gives you some idea of the state of the roads here. Five hours for 150 kilometers. Um, we got here last night, stayed the night, and, uh, and then set off this morning, 6.30 this morning, in the Trans-Tans bus with Juma, who's the driver, Rose, who's the project manager, and Mr. Hebisi, who's the, uh, one of the home-based carers, and they're the guys who, who really know the patients and go to the villages and know the state of all of them, who needs treatment and, and when, and they do all the coordinating of the times. Um, and then we drove for, for about an hour or so, an hour and a half maybe, to the nearby villages in Bwewe is the main village uh, on today's route, Tuesday's route. But actually they stop at about 10 different places. Um, and there's 10 scheduled patients uh, pick up today, but there's quite a lot of other patients who come um, with what they call opportunistic infections. So that just means they've picked up some, some bugs that uh, made, them, made them sick. And if there's room in the bus, we can take them as well. So we actually had a bus full of about um, 15 people today. Um, and then they return to Miona, which is where the CTC is based, where the doctors are. And, um, uh, and the whole, so the whole round trip takes about three hours. And when they get there, they give them some food and some water, so sort of bananas and eggs, um, because it's very important you can't take the ARV drugs, the antiretroviral drugs, on an empty stomach, so trans-tans. Um, give them this food and water and then they take them to the CTC um, and we went there and we met Dr. Goiza who's the, uh, the head there and, uh, and his assistant Margaret who, um, Dr. Margaret and we sat in in one of the clinics um, and, and there's some pretty, some pretty harrowing stuff there there's a lady called Aziza who she's 28 years old so a year younger than me and uh, She's she's really really frail. She's HIV positive. She's she's you know got no no flesh on her at all. It's just um, she's got real problems with with diarrhea and she's got an uh, infection of the tongue, some sort of disease of the tongue and, and other skin diseases. And she's really really frail. Looks really you know incredibly sick. Um, her daughter has just died. She had a six-year-old daughter who died last week, Wednesday last week. She's got another daughter who's just been diagnosed HIV positive today. And her husband has left her since she found out she was HIV positive. His, uh, her husband left her um, and, and sort of ran away from the village and she's all by herself now. So she's no money, she's no means of making any money. She's far too sick. She's transferred around in a wheelchair here at the hospital. Um, so it's pretty, pretty scary stuff. Um, and I guess on the flip side of that, one of the current peer educators, and that's people who have HIV, and aides who are working with, with other patients here. Um, he's a chap um, who's 49 years old and uh, a couple of years ago, he, but just when Trans-Tans was starting, he arrived and he was the same, apparently he was, he was exactly the same, really, really skinny, no, just, just kind of um, skin and bones and uh, started taking the ARV drugs, started take, getting better nutrition, better support um, and and now he's, he's he's really really fit really well, um, fully recovered, and he's helping as I say helping the other guys. So you know a real success story there. Without Trans Tans, he would never have been able to make the journey um, from his from his village into the CTC to get this treatment. So um, it's it's good to see that it does work in some instances, and hopefully for Aziza the same thing can can happen. Um, and uh, other patients there, they're mostly women, I suppose. A um, couple of children that came in with us. Um, there's a total of 200 patients that uh, the Trans-Tans services at the moment um, in Bwewe, um, Sadani, and a few other villages near near Miono, and then another CTC in Chilinze, and uh, and Trans-Tans does the the full circuit there. So a total of about 200 patients that come um, at the moment. They most of them come once a month or once every two months is the maximum, and. Um, yeah, it's really interesting to see the, the difference that we make.